In this video, I'll take you through using the content tool. The content tool is used to share learning materials with students and optionally for linking learning materials with learning activities, for example, assignments or quizzes and describing the learning pathways students should take. For those of you familiar with Vula, the content tool has similar functions to both the resources and lessons tools. You can access content on the nav bar here. The content tool is organized into units. You can create new units here. Underneath units, you can create lessons using the create new button in the top right and folders underneath lessons. Units, lessons and folders organize content similarly to folders and subfolders. The simplest way of using the content tool is to use it similarly to the resources tool in Vula. For instance, you could create units for your major kinds of course content and use lessons and folders underneath them to organize the content further, as demonstrated on screen. To add files from your computer into your folder structure, click Add Existing and drag and drop or browse your PC. You can hide or unhide content using the visibility tool and move content by dragging and dropping it into place. The content tool can also link learning materials with learning activities like assignments, quizzes and discussions, as well as instructional text to build learning pathways. This is similar to how the lessons tool could be used in Vula. To add learning activities, click Add Existing if you've created them before or Create New to make a new learning activity. To add instructional text, click Create New and select HTML document. When creating an HTML document, you may select a template to style your document and then replace the text with your required information. You can add images, links to activities, files or external tools and add equations or code. Learning how to use the content tool most effectively in your course can be confusing. Please don't hesitate to book a consultation with a learning designer by visiting the SILT Support Services page and booking a consultation.